Hello guys and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome okay so in today's video we're gonna be looking at how to use your calculator the GED calculator right here to do um, to solve quadratic equations in your GED test okay so when you have questions like this how to quickly use your GED calculator to do this quadratic equation okay and um, you know instead of you going through the old looking for the factors and all that the long process you can easily use your calculator to solve this too and we're going to do it together all right and please if this is your first time on this channel we do free videos on GED maths we do on RLA we do on your social studies and also your sciences so please please subscribe to this YouTube channel to support us to grow and also you know receive uh, update on every video we do for you and um, you can also check out our website dtwgdprep.com for summary notes, study guides, and practice questions for your maths, study guides for both your maths, the four subjects, SS, uh, social studies, science, and your RLA, and also summary notes. We have summary notes for social studies and sciences. We're still working on the RLA, okay? Or where we explain US history, civics, and government for the social studies, then for sciences, you have physical sciences and all that. You can also join our Facebook group. We are over 9,000 in our community, uh, you know, to support you have questions about the GED in your state, please do join the group. You will receive enormous support about the GED, about mass any subject, you will receive enormous support and resources and free tips, okay? So, and also finally, if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one math tutoring, I offer one-on-one -on -one math tutoring at, afford at an affordable price. You can, you know, contact me or leave my email. Every link I will leave, you know, to the summary notes, to the Facebook group, I'll leave in the video description box of this video. Okay, so you can contact me. All right, thank you. So now getting on to the video, how to use your the, the calculator to solve this. Now, this question says, and the equation this, what is one possible value of x? Now, you can see this, see this. So you have this. So to do this with your calculator, it's as easy as just using this, the, the values of your option, putting it into, putting it as x in this equation. And when, when you put it in as x, it should equate to 45. So for instance, you have two, let's say we're using nine. So this would be two, that would be nine square, uh, square minus nine equals to what, 45. So let's check if this would equal equate to 45. Any value that we use that equates to 45, that is one possible values of X. You know, in quadratic equation, um, when you're solving for X, um, X is always, would always give you two values. Okay, so now let's, Punch in, use our calculator. So all you need to do is come here. All right, so we have two uh, in parentheses, nine, no square, close the parentheses, then minus nine, enter. This gives us 153. So it is not equal, 153 isn't equal to 45. So this is not our answer. Let's try five. So we have two, um, the square root of uh, the square of five minus what five? Let's see if it's going to give us. If it's going to give us that. Remember, using your calculator, always what clear, all right? Clear before you start another operation. So you have five, uh, two, uh, parentheses five, uh, five square minus. 5 enter you can see here we have 45 so the correct answer this is equal to 45 is equal to 45 so the, definitely this is the right answer if you punch in for this next two values they are wrong so you can stop here and you have your answer here but uh is it i want to say for a french but you have your right your answer here that's it okay so that's how you solve it all right looking for a possible value of x just from your options here you don't need to start um you know doing all your factoring and all that so now let's look at this it says in the quadratic equation this which pair of solutions make the equation true so here 
you can also use instead of using eight and three just use one value all right i will always say pick the positive value so it's easy for you to quickly resolve okay so let's say for option a let's pick three all right so we pick three so if this three square plus ten Will it be equal to minus 24? Let's check. This is 3 squared. That's 9. This I can easily do without the calculator. 9 plus 30. Is, this is 39. So it is not correct. So this option is wrong. If 3 is wrong, it means 8 also would, might also be, is also wrong. Because the two pair of solution must, must, um, how will I put it? Must resolve or, okay, to give us what's minus 24. Okay. So let's use 2 here. So we have 2 square plus 10 in parentheses 2. So this is 4 plus 20. Okay, 4 plus 20. This is a positive 24. And a positive 24, it is not equal to what a negative what 24. So we can't use this. All right. So this is what's wrong. All right. So now let's test for this. The second one, I will pick the smaller, the, the, the smallest number out of um minus 4 and 6. I will use minus 4. So here we have minus 4. Let's use our calculator for this. So we have minus 4 square plus 10 in parentheses minus 4. So right here we now have to punch in these values in our calculator. So we do in parentheses negative 4 close the parentheses then all squared. Okay, the way we stated it here then plus 10 square minus 4, not square, 10 in parentheses minus 4, close the parentheses, then we press enter. You can see that this has given us negative what 24, all right? So using this would equate to what negative 24. So this is a correct value, okay? This makes the equation what true, all right? So if this is true, it means this is also true. All right, uh, but most times, if this is if there's a negative four here and there's also a negative four here, it means now that you have to test for the second number. Let us test for negative six. So we have negative six to make sure it's also negative twenty-four. It gives us negative twenty-four. You have to when you have this kind of um, question that has two values, you have to test for the two numbers to make sure both of them would equate to this negative twenty-four. Okay, so this ten in parentheses is negative what six. Okay, so here, clear, clear. So we do in parentheses negative six. Close the parentheses, please. When you if you put the square in here, you're going to get a different answer. Let me show you. Let me show you. Or well, let's first get the right answer, then I show you if uh, so you don't make a mistake. So you do the square, then plus ten. In parentheses, negative 6, close the parentheses, enter. You see, it gives us negative 24. So it means this is the right, okay, number C, option C is the right word, answer. Okay, now let me take you to, if you do a, if you do a mistake by saying this, if you make a mistake by doing this in your calculator, by doing um, in parentheses, negative 6, you square it, you close the, the parentheses, and you now say plus 10, parentheses, negative 6, close it, enter. You see, you have a different result. So please don't use, when you're, you're raising a negative number, please don't do this. Okay? So put, because the value from here, in writing this, in writing this down, x is what? negative 4 and all raised to the power of 2 not minus 4 raised to the power of 2 and close the brackets no these are two different what expressions can you see that minus 4 all squared and minus 4 squared there are two different expressions on your calculator so be careful not to make this mistake okay so um another thing also be careful is when you have um a pair of solutions in your option make sure when one is correct please test for the other one to make sure it's also correct okay because sometimes i've seen a question in a ged where 
um, you have a minus 4 here. You also have a minus 4 here. So you have to test for the second one, the second values of x to know which option is correct because both must make the solution true when you place them in the equation one at a time. Okay? So that's how you use your calculator for quadratic what equations. I think, did I use... I think I didn't, I use this by hand. I'm supposed to use my calculator all three. Just I'm, I'm quite sorry. I'm quite fast with my hands, but still to use this to um, do this two opera, uh, operations we have here by hand. So you have three square, uh, clear, three square plus 10 in parentheses, three, close the parentheses, enter. And see, it didn't. It gave us. It didn't equate to minus twenty-four. Clear, clear this. Also doing this. Just you know, I'm doing this to make you conversant on how to use the calculator because the calculator will help you out in your GED a lot. Okay. And I've done. I'm going to put this in the calculator playlist. Okay. Can see positive twenty-four, which we got here, which is not equal to a negative twenty-four. So don't just look at the the value. Also look at the sign. All right. So I'll put this in a playlist called how to use the GED calculator. You'll see all that videos I've made on how to use the GED calculator for fractions, for powers and roots. Okay, so thank you and see you in our next video. And also don't forget, please, that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life, he's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and also um you know give us that life heaven here on earth all right so all is calling for us today is you know to just accept him and all will be well all right thank you and stay tuned you are destined to win